Welcome to Understand the Math. In the video description, you'll find a link to guided notes that can be downloaded and filled in as you follow along with the video. In this video, I'm going to explain what a reference angle is and how it is used, create a chart of reference angles for each quadrant, present steps for finding reference angles, and work through some example problems for finding a reference angle. Let's begin by talking about what a reference angle is and how it's used. A reference angle is the positive acute angle between the terminal side of the angle and the x-axis. Since our reference angle is a positive acute angle, it can be between 0 degrees and 90 degrees. Let's go ahead and write that down. So 0 degrees is less than our reference angle, theta r is less than 90 degrees. And if we think about this in terms of radians, we would say that 0 is less than theta sub r is less than pi over 2. I wrote equals there, but it should be less than. In our first diagram, theta is a positive acute angle, so our reference angle is equal to theta. In our second diagram, theta is a positive obtuse angle, so our reference angle is not equal to it. Our reference angle needs to be a positive acute angle between the terminal side of the angle and the x-axis. In our diagram, that puts theta sub r right here. It's the positive acute angle between the terminal side and the x-axis. A reference angle theta sub r is primarily used for finding the value of trigonometric functions for an angle theta when theta is not between 0 degrees and 90 degrees so let's underline that, not between 0 degrees and 90 degrees, or when theta is not an acute angle. Reference angles are used a lot in trigonometry because we're often working with angles that are not acute angles. We're now going to look at angles that lie in the first quadrant, the second quadrant, the third quadrant, and the fourth quadrant, and we'll find their reference angles. When theta is in the first quadrant, our reference angle is equal to theta. Theta is equal to theta r, and then if we think of it in terms of theta r, we say theta r is equal to theta. When theta is in the second quadrant, our reference angle is here. because this is the positive acute angle between the terminal side and the x-axis. And we say that theta sub r is pi minus theta. When theta is in the third quadrant, our reference angle is here. And we'll note that theta sub r is equal to theta minus pi. Lastly, when theta is in the fourth quadrant, our reference angle is here. And we'll make a note that theta sub r is 2 pi minus theta. Let's now create a reference angle chart that's easy to memorize. In our first quadrant, theta sub r is always equal to our angle theta. In our second quadrant, theta sub r is pi minus theta or 180 degrees minus theta. In our third quadrant, theta sub r is theta minus pi or theta minus 180 degrees. And then in our fourth quadrant, theta sub r is 2 pi minus theta, or 360 degrees minus theta, if we're working in degrees. Let's now go over the steps to use to find a reference angle. The first step is to identify the quadrant theta is in. Let's write that down. 
So identify the quadrant theta is in. And then once you do that, the second step is to use the chart to find theta sub r. Let's write that down. So use the chart to find theta sub r. The last thing we need to make a note of is down here with the star. If theta is negative, we need to work with the absolute value of theta instead. And then everything else stays the same. Let's now work through some examples where we're asked to find a reference angle. Before we begin, let's make a chart of our quadrants and fill in the angles and degrees. On our right-hand side, we have zero degrees or zero radians. At the top, we have 90 degrees or pi over two. On the left-hand side, we have 180 degrees or pi. And at the bottom, we have 270 degrees or 3 pi over 2. This chart will help us locate what quadrant our angle is in. In our first example, we're asked to find the reference angle for an angle of 43 degrees. So the first thing we do is look at the quadrant. So we know that theta is in quadrant 1, and our theta sub r is equal to theta, which is 43 degrees and we'll indicate on our graph that theta is equal to theta sub r. In our second example, theta is 2 pi over 3. We notice that 2 pi over 3 places theta in quadrant 2, and our reference angle looks like this. So that gives us theta sub r is equal to pi minus theta, so this is pi minus 2 pi over 3, so our reference angle is pi over 3. In our third problem, theta is 5 pi over 4, which places theta in quadrant 3, and this gives our reference angle like this, so we'll notate that as theta sub r, and then we can see that theta sub r is going to be theta minus pi, so this is 5 pi over 4 minus pi, which is pi over 4. In our fourth problem, theta is 300 degrees, so theta is in quadrant 4, and we'll notate theta sub r on our graph like this, and that gives us theta sub r is 360 degrees. Notice we're in degrees instead of radians. So 360 degrees minus theta. So this gives us 360 degrees minus 300 degrees, which is 60 degrees. In our last two examples, theta is negative. In our fifth problem, theta is equal to minus pi over 4. Because theta is negative, we're going to work with the absolute value of theta instead to determine the formula for finding theta sub r. The absolute value of theta is pi over 4, and the absolute value of theta is located in quadrant 1. So that means that theta sub r is absolute value of theta, which is pi over 4. And we can notate theta sub r in our graph like this. Our last problem, theta is equal to minus 100 degrees. So absolute value of theta is 100 degrees. And 100 degrees is in quadrant 2. So theta sub r is 180 degrees minus 
absolute value of theta, which is 180 degrees minus 100 degrees, which is equal to 80 degrees. So that's our reference angle, and we can notate that angle on our graph. I would suggest that you memorize the reference angle chart we created because it's going to be used a lot in future trigonometric problems. If this video has been helpful to you, please consider subscribing to my channel. Keep believing in yourself and have a great rest of your day.